When I was teaching third grade at Chattahoochee Elementary, I found out that one of my students was going to be taken home by defects that day. He would not be returning to his home. The principal and the school counselor and I sat with him and waited for the defects worker to come hours after school was out. And then I watched him get in a car to be taken to spend the night with somebody he'd never seen before. Later that week, his guardian ad litem called me and asked me about his performance in school and what I knew about his home life. Because I had been to a lunch and learn about 111 project, I knew that they asked for volunteers to sit with kids while they wait their turn in court. So I would ask the guardian ad litem and she said, please come and sit with him. So we got to spend four hours that day together while he waited for his turn in court. And um, then I really stepped out of my comfort zone and I asked her to give my student's mom, she was incarcerated at the time for nonviolent crimes, to give my student's mom my cell phone number. Um, and she called me when she got out. She needed an apartment and she wanted it to be in our school district so he could stay there. So I went and picked her up. We looked at apartments. Thanks to you at Rising Church, you paid her first month's rent. And she and her son are together now. He's back at the same school where he went to kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. You know, if I was arrested for driving on an expired license and expired tag, I'd call my family and I'd be home in 24 hours. But this woman didn't have anybody to call, so she was there for 80 days. I am so thankful that God placed me in that student's life so that I could be there for them as a resource. And I'm so thankful to Rising Church that you also were a resource for this family. Many of you are aware of 111 Project, Rising Church's foster care ministry. We now have a new tool called Care Portal. It allows us to reach those families that used to fall through the cracks. So how Care Portal works is the defects case manager puts in the need of the family into the database. Once that need is put into the database, it gets sent out to a point person at a church. At Rising Church, I'm that point person. Care Portal was launched approximately six months ago. In that time frame, Rising Church has served 19 children and made an economic impact of $10,000. We currently have 15 people on our email list. Think about that. We have served 19 kids, made an economic impact of almost $10,000 with only 15 people on our email list. Think what God can do with Rising Church if we were able to include more of the congregation on our email list. We're handing out contact cards today at church. We hope that you'll join us as we continue serving our community. Thank you. I have to say that when Care Portal came out and I saw the model and how amazing it was, I was just so excited because bringing resources and people together that need them is just such a beautiful thing. So one of my stories is uh, from a few months ago when Richard Gomerick and I took a bed. Actually, we took two beds down to a mother who is uh, setting up a safe living environment for her two boys. She is actually gainfully employed but does not have the resources to do this on her own. So we took down beds and we took down bedding that Robin Auer had given us. We pooled all our resources and handed it over to her. A couple weeks ago, I got the email from Teresa and it was regarding a grandmother who was taking in her grandchildren so they would not have to go into foster care. She needed beds, um, she needed dressers, and so I didn't have any more beds to give out, so I put out a notice on nextdoor.com and wouldn't you know, this lady that I have never heard from, I didn't know who she was, she emailed me back and said, I have a bed, you can have it. And so that ended up with the grandmother along with the bed from somebody else. And I also was able to give her a dresser. And she was just so ecstatic that somebody would offer that to her and help her out and help her getting her grandkids set up again. She told me that once her kids are settled in, she wants to volunteer with a foster ministry like this. 
You may not have an extra bed at your house, but your neighbor's aunt's cousin just may have one sitting extra in their garage. So you could be that connection that brings that bed to the child that needs one. Jean Rector and I will be at the mission table after service and we'll be more than happy to help you get plugged in one way or another, whether that be through fostering, supporting a foster family, making freezer meals, or maybe even donating something for an emergency bag. We thank you so much, Rising Church, for your care and passion for foster kids.